Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jamie and this is Techie J. Today in this video I'm going to put my GeForce 210 in my G7. Because, why not? Alright, so let's disconnect the power from the back. Panel off. While well, this other latch and dig up. Now at the uh, the back of the G7, you've got this uh, section here, modular section. Um, you've got three uh, thumb screws, uh, two on the outer and one in the middle. Um, you simply just unscrew, unscrew these until all of them are. And screwed. Alright, so the next thing that are these two little levers on each side. So you're going to pull that one up and this one up, and you pull both of them together, and this pops up. And on the bottom of this, um, there's a riser card, um, which is like a small PCB that allows you to um, add on um, expansion cards. Um, You've got two X4 interface interfaces, and on the other side you've got one 16X. And we're going to put the graphics card in that one. Now the graphics card is the, uh, the GeForce 210. So let's open up here. Uh, this is I've had this card for years. Um, I've lost the screws to the VGA connector because so I've been using it in low profile mode for quite a bit. Um, so, alright, let's put this in the uh, the expansion. Right, so I'm going to take out this little blue thingy here. Let's take out the slot cover. It's like a blank. Take that out. Then I'm going to simply put in the GPU. Lining up by the uh, port and oh god. Okay, so this this screw thingy I need to remove that holds the bracket on because it's uh, it won't let me push it in through the I/O. Will and doubt. You screw it out. All right. Hopefully it'll uh, go in now. Ah, it has. There we go. The GPU's in. And as you see, the I.O. lines up at the back, except from the stupid VGA thing here. Um, HDMI, well, uh, I'm, I'll probably be able to plug into that. But we might not even need that HDMI. We're not. But we might not even plug into this uh, GPU. Because if we're going to be passing it through to a VM, because I've got ESXi uh, from the last video, uh, we make a VM. We put the expansion back in and we push it in place. And once in place, you can press down these latches and it should be firmly in place now. Next we're going to log into the ILO and the server's going to be a little bit louder, you probably hear it in the background. Um, it gets a little bit louder if there's cards in the PCIe lanes. So let's power on the server. And now we're brewing the ESXi. Right, I'll see you at the uh, website. Right, now the host is back up. I'm going to log in and the first thing we want to do is we're going to go into manage host to go to manage hardware and the PCIe devices when you find the video card which is here and you see pass through is disabled all you want to do is go to toggle pass through 
and we need to reboot the host so to bypass the loading of the driver for the GPU so we can pass through the PCIe device to a VM. Reboot. I know it's not in maintenance mode, there's no VMs running on it. Go to reboot. And we wait for the server to reboot. Now the host is back up, I'm going to refresh the page and log in again. Okay, so if we go back to manage hardware, we now see the pass through is now active on the GPU and the audio device that comes with it. So now if we try and make a VM, GeForce 210, U2, Windows, let's do Windows 10, film SSD RAID, let's give it 8 gigs of memory, reserve all guest memory, let's make a 100 gig, thin provision. So a thin provision drive is the hard drive will only use up what has actually been used so it can dynamically expand as you as you have put more data onto the VM. With a thick provisioned the the size of the hard drive you make is the size of the drive it's going to take. It's, it, it's the fixed size it's going to take. Then I want to add p other device and then PCIe device. And you see our GPU is now selected. For some reason it shows up as a GT218. Then I want to add another PCI device. And then it comes up as the HD audio controller. So that's a sound card that's built into the GPU as a separate device. So now we click on next and then finish. And our VM was made successfully. So we go so we click onto the VM and power it on. And it wants to be off my WDS server for some reason. Oh yeah, because I've forgotten to I've forgotten to add it to Data Store I so far. Uh Let's put Windows 10 LTSC on there. Press any key. And now we're booting to the Windows installer. Now this might take a few minutes. I'll come back to you when Windows is installed. And hopefully we'll have a GPU pass through. So the VM's now installed. Now to verify that the GPU is now passed through, I'm going to right click and go to device manager and under display adapters the 210 should be listed under there. And there we go, NVIDIA GeForce 210. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install the driver for the VM so it can talk to the GPU correctly. Okay so the driver has been installed but I'm having an issue. I need to add some parameters in the uh, VMX file, uh, which is the uh, the VM information or configuration uh, in, in ESXi. Um, so how much CPU cores, how many, how much RAM, the general stuff for a VM. So I'm going to close out this, and apparently I need to shut down the VM. Update and shut down. Okay. Right, now the now the VM's now powered down. If we go to Edit, and the forum said if I go to VM Options, Advanced, and Edit Configuration, I put in these two options: uh, hypervisor.cpuid.v0 equals false, and PCI Passthrough 0.msi enabled equals false. Click OK, and save. It should successfully configured okay close that then if I relaunch the virtual machine so I think we go to device manager 
Oh, it's working! NVIDIA GeForce 210. If I plug in the display in the back of the GPU, there should be another display that I'll uh, pop up in there. And there we go. We have a display listed in uh, in the VM. System. I'm running through the cable, going into the server. And it works. Awesome. So thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And in the description is a link to my Playhouse's Discord server through Patreon. Where you can talk to Morton himself and the other members of the Patreon. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.